Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about the off-white Jordan 4s in the sale colorway that dropped over the weekend. Now I've already done a live unboxing on my channel and if you guys tuned into that live stream, thank you so much. Not gonna lie, I was actually really nervous because I've never done a live stream on my channel but I had so much fun. So if you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below and I can definitely do more in the future. But today's video is going to be a full review of the off-white Jordan 4s and I will also give you guys some outfit ideas as well as show you what the sneaker looks like with all the different lace options because they do give you three additional sets of laces so I will show you what they look like on feet and all that good stuff so hopefully you find this video somewhat helpful but let's start off by talking about the sneaker first so this is a women's release but they did make them in extended sizes meaning that they did make them in large larger sizes to accommodate those of you guys who wanted a pair. The retail price was 270 Australian dollars but at this stage because the release has happened you would have to buy it on a secondary market like StockX or GOAT and from what I know the larger sizes are pretty expensive at the moment. So congrats to those of you guys who managed to cop a pair for retail. Now looking at the sneaker first impression wise I love these so much and I don't know whether it's too soon for me to say this but I feel like this will definitely be in my top five releases of 2020. When I first saw images of these, they definitely reminded me of a pair of Hander Scheme Jordan 4s. Something about the tonal look just makes it look like super luxe. Even though it does have some deconstructed elements like the frayed edges here as well as the exposed sponge. Overall, I feel like the sneaker is super elegant and it does have a very refined look. So when you look at the upper of the sneaker, you can see that it has this super nice smooth buttery nubuck upper and it also has this ripstop mesh with the frayed edges and when you look at the tongue you can see that it has the Jumpman logo but it has that layer of ripstop mesh sewn on top with the frayed edges and then like I mentioned before with that whole deconstructed kind of vibe you can see it does have that exposed sponge when you look at the sock liner of the sneaker with the insole it does have sort of this towel kind of texture and it matches the color of the rest of the sneaker and I just feel like the choice of color that they've used for this particular collaboration is really on point. I love this really nice creamy off-white beige tonal kind of look and the only pop of color on the sneaker would be on the outsole so you can see it has this sort of light pastel minty green color which I think looks really really cute and they also give you a set of laces that matches this mint color which I'll show you guys later what it looks like on and then it also has sort of this like super light gum color or even this ice sole kind of vibe that again complements the rest of the sneaker really really well. Obviously because this is an off-white collab you do get your typical off-white details so when you look at the air unit here on top you have the word air in the quotation marks and then on the medial side of the sneaker underneath this rubber netting you get some type over here and then of course a very signature off-white detail would be the zip tie and this time around it is in this creamy base color that matches the rest of the sneaker which I think is a really really nice touch. Moving to the back of the sneaker you can see that it has this heel tab in this sort of creamy translucent color and yeah just overall I think the color combination and the mix of material just works really well. Like I said before even though it has a lot of deconstructed elements I think overall the sneaker is very refined and very luxe and I just love them so much. So when you get the sneaker it does come laced with this cream laces but they do give you three other sets of laces so there is a black pair a mint pair as well as a white pair and I've actually tried all of the laces and I have to say my favorite would definitely be the cream laces that it comes with if you want to switch up the look I think the mint laces is also a good pair to go with I think it just adds a pop of color and makes it a little bit more fun and just the shade of mint I think it's really really cute and I've laced them here and you guys can see it just works really well with this beige color of the sneaker so even though no one's gonna see the outside of the sneaker this laces is definitely the same color in this like pastel minty color and then next up I tried the white laces and I feel like it looks really really similar to the cream laces that are already on the sneaker 
and I had to like compare them and they come really really close so again with the white laces you can't go wrong and just like any other off-white collabs on the shoelaces here you can see it does say shoelaces with the quotation marks and the last set of laces would be the black laces and for me this would be my least favorite out of the four because I don't know I just feel like it makes the sneaker look really dark I mean it doesn't look bad but I don't think it's something that I would swap to I enjoy the sneaker being a bit more on the tonal side and a bit more of a lighter tone sneaker it's not a bad look as you guys can see in my footage it's just really up to you I guess what kind of look you're going for but I feel like you can't go wrong with the cream laces that it comes with but if you want to switch up the look definitely try out the different laces in terms of sizing I got these in a women's 8 which is a men's six and a half. so I've actually gone half a size up from my true to size because I just wasn't sure how Jordan 4s fit because this is my very first pair of Jordan 4s and they fit fine I feel like because it is a women's silhouette I think it will be a little bit more narrow around the toe box area so just keep that in mind if you are a guy with wider feet I would definitely recommend going at least half a size up because it is a women's collab but from what I've heard everyone says it fits true to size but for me I got a women's 8 which is half a size up from my true to size and they feel great on feet so I guess it can't hurt to go half a size up if you're unsure now let's move on to some outfit ideas because I recently picked up a few things from Farfetch and I have three different outfits to show you guys and you already know that I have a 10% off discount code with Farfetch which I will leave on the screen right now so you guys can feel free to use that code the first outfit I'll start off with the pants so I'm wearing just some white pants from Muji I really wanted to go for a light tonal earth tone kind of vibe for this particular outfit and then with the socks I found the perfect socks to go with these sneakers and if there's one thing that you're gonna buy from this video I highly highly recommend these socks so they are just these a cold wall socks and as you guys can see it is a perfect match with the off-white Jordan 4s like the colorway it's just perfect and I really like how it has this orange detail it just says a cold wall ACW and then it has the orange stripe on the back of the socks and I just feel like this color combination is just look at it it is the perfect shade of nude to match your off-white Jordan 4s and even if you don't have these sneakers I feel like this would still work well with a lot of sneakers like a lot of Yeezy sneakers are in that earth tone kind of vibe and I really want to wear these with the Yeezy Foam Runners but my pair just hasn't arrived just yet but yeah highly recommend these socks anyway moving on to the rest of the outfit you can see that with the jacket I'm wearing a Kaha jacket which is this one over here I'm wearing it in a size medium so you guys can see it is a little bit oversized but I do like my clothing to fit a little bit oversized and I have rolled up the sleeve because it is a little bit long but overall I really like how this fits it is under the men's line and yeah I really like the look of this I've been wanting a brown jacket for a long time now and I love Kaha as a brand I think it's a very nice like casual kind of brand underneath the jacket I'm wearing this long sleeve Stone Island t-shirt that I'm wearing right now as well and I feel like this is a perfect match with these Jordan 4s like look at it I did not expect them to match so perfectly but I think it definitely works well as a fit and I'm wearing this in a size large I find that with Stone Island their sizing is more so a standard sizing so if you want something to be a little bit oversized definitely go one or two sizes up but with Farfetch even if you get the wrong size they're really good with their exchange and return policy so don't stress too much and the one thing I love about Farfetch is just shipping is always on point and yeah, I got these items super, super quick. So that's the first outfit. My necklace is just an EVAE smiley pearl necklace. I'll list and link everything that I mentioned in this video down below in case you guys are interested in picking it up. Moving on to outfit number two. Let's start off with the pants. So here I'm just wearing some olive pants from Muji because I really like how the olive color complements the sale colorway of the off-white Jordan 4s. Again, I'm wearing the same a cold wall socks. I'm telling you guys that you need this socks and they do have it in a few different colorways so I am thinking about picking up more of these a cold wall socks because I think having strong sock game is really important and then with the top here I am wearing my Nike Matthew Williams vest 
And I bought this a long time ago, but I know on the Farfetch site they do have an Elix vest that looks really, really good. And I love Elix as a brand. Obviously, Matthew Williams is the designer for Elix. So I have the vest on, and then underneath the vest, I am wearing a black hoodie. And this is just a plain black hoodie from Elix, but it does have the buckle detail here, just on top of the pocket. And I think it is a really nice small detail. And you guys know that this clip detail is like a six signature look for a leaks. One thing to keep in mind about this hoodie is that it does fit pretty small. I have this in a size medium and it fits like quite snug. Like I'm used to my clothing being like really oversized and this is under the men's line and I got it in a size medium and it fits like a very standard medium kind of fit. So again, keep in mind if you want it to be oversized, I probably recommend going one or two sizes up because yeah, to me, this is a very small medium. Like it fits me fine but ideally I prefer my clothing to be a little bit more oversized but even though it is just a black hoodie I think the material is really great it is quite a stretchy material and I just feel like this is something really good as an essential in your wardrobe you can't go wrong with an all black hoodie and I think the little clip detail even though it's quite minimal I think the whole hoodie just looks really like timeless and elegant and you kind of can't go wrong and yeah I'm probably biased because I love a leak so much. So with the last outfit, I am wearing this ambush crew neck and I love this crew neck so much. I'm not too sure whether they have this exact color anymore because I got this a while ago but I do know that they have new colors so I'll definitely link it down below for you guys. I just love the dip dye vibe on this sweatshirt and you can see it has all this different patches and on the chest it just says ambush and in terms of sizing I have this in a size one which is a small and I can say that this particular cut definitely fits quite oversized because with my other ambush t-shirt and the other pink crew neck I wear that in a size two but for this one in particular I have it in a size one so yeah this is definitely oversized and I'm also wearing my Prada bucket hat which you guys have seen before I feel like this is super versatile and I think the hat is it's actually designed for the logo to be on the right side but you can obviously just wear it on the front as well if you prefer and I have it in black they do make this in a few different colorways with accessories I generally go for black because I feel like it's a little bit more versatile and you kind of can't go wrong so yeah I have this bucket hat in a size medium and then with my pants it's just my Nike ACG pants that I wear all the time you guys know I love those pants and if you're after some cargo pants I highly recommend them and I'm wearing that in an extra small. It's actually meant to be like a crop kind of cut but because I'm not very tall, I'm 158 centimeters. It is more of a regular length of me but if you're taller obviously it'll be a crop cut but I'm pretty sure it's meant to look like a crop cut. But yeah guys, those are the outfits that I plan on wearing with my off-white Jordan 4s. Obviously, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, but when I do, I would definitely wear one of those outfits. Let me know in the comments below whether you guys managed to cop a pair. As usual, I'll list and link everything that I mentioned in this video in the description bar below. And don't forget to use my Farfetch code to save 10% off. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye. You guys realize that my setup is a little bit different today because I moved my couch because I was trying to do the B-roll. And now I can't be bothered to move my couch back. But I hope you like my plant. His name is Mason and Beatrice gave it to me. And I think he's doing good but I'm not sure. <laughs> so today's video is going to be about the Jordan Off-White, wait no, Off-White Jordan 4s. If you guys tuned into that live stream, 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 <laughs> does have a deconstructed vibe, vibe, oh my god, I can't talk. Here I'm wearing some olive pens from Muji Lab, Muji Lab, <laughs> my friends and I joke about Muji and we call it Muji Lab all the time and I can't believe I just call it Muji Lab, no, it's just Muji, not Muji Lab because you know Nike Lab. Anyway, this sneaker... Siri? <laughs> You're welcome. Wait, what? I wasn't talking to 